hello again and welcome to Music Lessons with Mrs. Morris. Last time we met we talked about the classical period and we learned about some amazing composers like Haydn and Mozart and Beethoven. But today we are going to learn about the Romantic period. Ooh, love songs and romance. Boring. No, it's not about love songs and romance. So what is the Romantic period? That's a good question, Sadie. Let's find out together. Welcome to the Romantic period. The Romantic movement occurred roughly between 1825 and 1900. Now remember the classical period in music? We learned that the music was elegant and formal. But by the beginning of the 19th century, music was evolving into a new style. Composers wanted to express their feelings. They used various musical elements to bring emotion to their music like changing the tempo and dynamics, or writing in a minor key to make the music sound sad. Musical nationalism accompanied the Romantic movement. In other words, in order to show a love or patriotism for their country, composers would include familiar themes in their music. For example, Chopin included folk songs in his piano works called mazurkas, and Sibelius wrote a symphony called Finlandia for his homeland. Let's listen to just a section of Finlandia. Composers also began to write music to represent something besides interesting melodies, forms, and rhythms. They wanted their music to make you feel a certain emotion or think about something, perhaps in nature like a sunrise or a waterfall or maybe even moonlight. Hey, wait a minute. I thought Beethoven was a classical composer. This is true, Bella, but Beethoven and Schubert composed during both eras. In fact, they were both considered innovative in their time as their music evolved through both the classical and the romantic period. Schubert wrote over 600 songs called Lieder, and one of those songs was called Der Erlkonig, or The Earl King, and it had many romantic era elements. It is based on a Scandinavian folktale about a father and a son who take a ride through a dark forest. Schubert made the piano part sound like a horse galloping. Let's listen. It is kind of spooky. There's a whole story about what happens on this ride through the forest. If you want to learn more, just click on the link in the comments and it'll take you to another video that will tell you more about the story. Although some composers were still being supported by wealthy patrons or the church, many were starting to work independently. You might say that this was the start of the celebrity composer. The Romantic period produced a plethora of brilliant composers, much more than we can learn about in one lesson. Like for instance, did you know that Clara Schumann was not only an amazing composer, she was also considered a child prodigy who began studying piano at the age of five. She married Robert Schumann and later in life she became good friends with Johannes Brahms. Peter Tchaikovsky wrote many popular works and probably is most famously known for writing The Nutcracker. This ballet can be heard in many concert halls throughout the world during the Christmas season. Maybe before we meet again you can find the answers to the following questions like Who wrote The Ride of the Valkyries? What is a light motif? Why do Felix and Fanny Mendelssohn have the same last name? And is John Philip Sousa really a Romantic period composer? Those are great questions. I can't wait to learn more. Me too.